Hello, in today's video we'll be doing an oil change on a 2007 Chevy Impala. For this oil change we'll need an oil filter and just slightly over 4 quarts of oil. Or you could always do what I do and go with a 5 quart jug and save the rest. So to begin we want to lift the vehicle and support it with a jack stand. If you're using these type of drain pans you always want to be sure to open the vent cap so oil doesn't spill or splash all over. So now to drain the oil. To loosen the drain plug you'll need a 13mm socket with a ratchet or a 13mm wrench. You want to loosen the bolt counterclockwise. And once you get the drain bolt loose you can remove the remainder by hand. Pushing in as you loosen so you have control when to pull back so the oil drains. When positioning the drain pan you want to keep an eye on the flow of the oil because at first the oil drains forward and once it becomes less it flows straight down. At this point you'll want to check the condition of the drain bolt gasket to make sure that the rubber is still in good shape. Once the draining oil becomes slow drips you can reinstall the drain bolt. You'll want to clean the area before giving it the final tightening. And now for the oil filter. You can try to remove it by hand but if that doesn't work you'll want to use an oil filter wrench. Once you get it loose enough you can remove the rest by hand so you don't get oil all over the filter wrench and have to clean it. You'll want to let it drain like this for a few minutes and then remove the filter. Before installing the new filter you'll want to clean the area and make sure that the old gasket stayed on the filter. Next we can remove the filter out of the box so we can pour oil into it so it builds oil pressure faster and so we can coat the new gasket with a little bit of oil. After lightly coating the new gasket with oil, the oil filter is now ready to be installed. But before give the area one final cleaning. When installing the oil filter you want to get it as tight as you can by hand only. We're now ready for the new oil. For this we need to remove the oil cap. If it comes off with the assembly just separate the cap and reinstall the lower portion. We can use a funnel and begin pouring the oil. I pour in about 4 quarts and then I check it. When checking the oil I always wipe off the first mark in case the marking of the old oil is still on it and then I recheck it. And as you can see it is up to the full mark. 
so we can put the oil cap back on, start it, and build oil pressure. And now we can start it. And when we start it, we want to look at the oil light to make sure that it turns off. And once it does, we know that the engine has built up oil pressure, and we can shut it off. After shutting it off, let's go back and check our oil level once again. It should have gone lower. But as before, we want to wipe off the first mark and recheck it. That's actually a good level there, but I like to fill it to the top mark. So I'll go back and add about one third of a quart, and I should fill it to the top mark. And there we go, that's where I wanted it. Well, that just about does it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, please click that like button to support my video and channel. And don't forget to subscribe.